Hello and thank you for joining Raspberry PKR Tutorials. I'm Martin Parker and in this video I'm going to be showing you my SnipEye, uh, a snipping tool for the Raspberry Pi. There's three options, user, window or full screen. I'm just going to whiz through them. So I'll click on full screen, click on snip, uh, take SnipEye. You'll notice that the actual widget jumps to uh, taskbar to get out of the way. And there we go, it's taking the picture and notice how the mouse isn't in the picture so it makes it a bit cleaner for you uh, I'm not going to save this so I'll click cancel that's fine and then I'll close that window uh, this time I'm going to do the window option so I'm just going to open my Python shell uh, so I'm going to click window take SnipEye click on the window that I want to have the full window and there we go it's got that and just I'm not going to save that again click OK and close that uh, close that as well don't need that uh, this time I'm going to do a user select so basically it's drag and drop uh, click on and hold down the mouse button and drag your box release and that is the snip of what you uh, had in that box and um, I'm not going to save again so I'll click cancel get rid of that right uh, as you can see it is in my github repository under uh, snipi uh, you can download the actual code by clicking on the download section so you can download it as a zip or you could get it from the uh, actual github via command line uh, I've included the source code um, which is a python file um, so you can modify it, change it, make it your own you know um, um, it's open source so it's there for you um, but also in this uh, you'll notice that there is a zip file which holds the executable so it's uh, easy to get it to run so um, like I say you can download it it'll go into your downloads right click on it um, and then you can uh, un extract it from there uh, put it into a certain folder and it will create its folder uh, but I'm going to do it via command line so I'm just going to cd into my tutorials uh, folder and then what you need to do is enter git clone https colon forward slash forward slash git hub dot com forward slash raspi pi pkr notice the capital letters on on the uh, on the on there and snip pi dot git click enter on that and that will pull the repository and there we go it's done now if I ls you'll see that there is a, a folder so if I cd into there um, ls again notice how the all the files are there so you can go in to look at the actual source code of me of my Python file uh, it uses Tekinter um, or if you want to get the executable so you could sudo unzip snippy dot zip click enter that's now extracting and if I ls you'll see them files uh, you'll notice that the snippy is now green which means it's an executable um, so if I from the command line I can run it from here by entering dot forward slash snip pi and there we go we've got the uh, the script uh, the widget we're running uh, I'm going to close that um, and if you do it from the download section um, well, I'll just go into my tutorial where I've put it um, so I could right click extractor so I could put it anywhere on my Raspberry Pi or extract here and it would go into just like it is here um, so there you go uh, if I want to run it from here I can just double click it click on execute and then we've got our snipping tool uh, it's a handy little piece of uh, software if anybody uh, wants to contribute thank you for trying it or at least having a look at the um, the tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.